Once upon a time, there was a duck who sat quietly on her nest of eggs and dreamed of the moment when she would become a mother. And one cold spring morning, an egg cracked, and then another, and yet another. One by one, the ducklings hatched and quacked with great joy. Only one egg remained whole and seemed reluctant to crack at all. Quack, 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 echoed from all around. What a big world it is, exclaimed the ducklings. But the mother duck was worried. What was happening with the egg that wouldn't crack? Finally, after another day and night, out of it emerged a big, rather ugly duckling with grayish-white feathers. Oh, and how golden yellow the other ducklings were. Beautiful and clean, just like their mother. Well, the next day, the duck led her family to the water. Quack, quack! And all the ducklings splashed with great joy in the lake. Quack, quack! Now let's go meet the birds in the big courtyard near the lake, said the mother duck. Watch out for the cats, as they're always hungry. As if we weren't enough here, said a rather talkative hen. There's hardly any room in the yard for so many winged creatures. And look at that one. How ugly it is. Too ugly. No, it should leave. We don't like it. And so, that day, all the birds in the yard chased away the poor little duckling. Therefore, she decided to find a new home and hopped over the fence. She reached the big pond where wild ducks lived, wanting to seek clarification. What kind of strange bird are you? They asked. And when they laughed heartily, a hunter emerged from a bush. Bang! Bang! Entire flocks of wild geese rose from the reeds. Bang! Bang! Everywhere, the barking of hunting dogs was heard. The poor little duckling was trembling with fear. Right at that moment, a big, fluffy dog appeared beside her. He bared his teeth with a powerful growl and left without catching her. I'm so ugly that not even the dogs come near me. When the hunting was over, she went on, alone and sad, with no friends. Towards evening, she reached a dilapidated house where an old woman, a tomcat, and a hen lived. The tomcat knew how to purr and cuddle, and the hen laid eggs. What are you? the old woman asked. But as she didn't see very well, she thought the duckling was a large, fat duck that had lost its way. Now I'll have duck eggs, she thought. You can stay in my house. After a few days, our little duckling longed for the water and a great desire to swim, so she left. She swam. She submerged in the water, but not a single creature looked at her. She was so ugly. Autumn came. The leaves of the forest turned yellow and dried up. It was cold, very cold. The poor little duckling was not doing well at all. One evening, while she was bathing in the water, she saw the most beautiful birds in the world. They were as white as snow and had long, graceful necks. They were swans. They stayed for a while, then spread their broad, majestic wings and flew further to warmer lands. Our ugly little duckling felt a strange restlessness. She didn't know what those birds were called, but she loved them. Time passed, and winter became heavier and heavier. Fortunately, one morning a peasant passed by her, took her home, and that's how our duckling survived her first snow. By spring, she noticed that her wings had grown, and she could fly high, high up. And so, she arrived in a large and beautiful garden on the edge of a lake. From among the reeds emerged two swans floating slowly on the water's surface. I will go and talk to those beautiful birds, even if they behave badly towards me. I don't care. I want to meet them, thought the duckling. And what do you know? As soon as they spotted her, the swans approached with love. 
it was as if they had known each other already. Looking at her reflection in the water's surface, our little duckling discovered that she had begun to resemble the swans nearby. Well, she too was a swan with a beautiful beak and long feathers. Although she had been unjustly treated, she was now the most beautiful of all the birds. In the days when I was an ugly duckling, I never would have thought I could be so happy. How did a swan's egg end up in a duck's nest? Hmm, I don't know, but it doesn't matter anymore. I forgive them all. If you're different, it doesn't mean you're ugly, bad, or lazy, because surely you have plenty of other qualities. <laughs>